once you're here, you're going to click on the search button. The first app you're going to download is called Herberla. Herberlo uh, is an app. So this app is, its name is difficult to say sometimes, but Herberlo, uh, um, it easily imports products from AliExpress directly to your store and orders can be shipped directly to your customers with just a couple of clicks and you always know that what your inventories and prices they always they're always up to date you can change the prices you can mark them up um, by a lot because a lot of the products if you've never been to aliexpress a lot of the products on aliexpress are very cheap they come from uh, china mostly there are other products that come from other places as well but they mostly come from china um, and not all of the products are bad quality there are a lot of products that are really good quality and some of the stores some of the store shop owners on aliexpress are actually very very good owners They're, they do a very great job of you know having really great products and also giving really great customer service so what you do you would click get so again because i don't have a card on file it won't it won't let me um, download it it's not gonna let me authorize. So you're gonna click install app and you will be able to add the app to your store. So this product is actually, um, it depends on what, which one you choose, but this product is actually $15 a month at the lowest. The highest is about $80 a month. And with that $15 a month, you get 500 items that you can add to through Oberlo. Now with Oberlo, and I can show you on my actual store. So through Oberlo, this is on um, the Oberlo through my that is on my store currently. The amount of um, that you can have. So here is an import list and my products. So with these two together, it has to equal 500. Once it goes, it won't allow you if you were on the $15 plan to go over 500. It will not allow you to continue to add more products. So the best thing I would choose if you want to have a large store with more than 500 items in your store, I would suggest going with the plan that's next and it's a $30 plan and that gives you up to a thousand items you don't necessarily have to use all of these items at once but you it could be like back there in your arsenal so you could go on to Aliexpress and just do a whole like do an hour of going and picking out products and then go in to create and push the products over to your your store so that's an option for you to do. I can also teach you how to use Oberlo in a later video. So let's go back to the store. So you would hit install app. But right now we're not gonna do that. So you're gonna go back to the app store. What's that? And another app that you would need, it's a very important app. We're gonna do Min Maxify. This is also another paid app and it charges you $5 a month. This is where you can set a minimum or maximum order for the items, whether it's, in a, it's a specific amount or a specific weight, which is important for your free plus shipping because you don't want someone ordering 20 free plus shippings and their shipping is like $20. So I'm gonna teach you how to set this all up so that it's coded correctly. So this is very important to have if you want to do that um, fish bait of free plus shipping. Because this is really this will this will get a lot of traffic to your store, and traffic is always important if you want to make sales. So you would get this app. The next app you would get is called Locksmith. So with the Locksmith app, it's also a paid app. You pay nine dollars a month, and with this app, you can. You can lock specific pages on your store so other people can't see them. So 
if you have, let's take for example, the free plus shipping. If you have a page that says one of your products is zero dollars and zero cents, it's not gonna just be sitting on your store like, here I am, buy me, by some random person who stumbles upon your web, your, your website. So no random person can see this. I've tested it multiple times and not a, it's, it's not gonna be seen on your page at all. So it locks, it secures that page and only with specific, um, with specific keys would a person be able to unlock it. So for mine, for my free plus shipping uh, products, I have a key that gives a passcode. So my passcode, which I'm not going to say, my passcode is that like you can make your passcode free stuff or free item or or get this or whatever you want to make your passcode. And when you go to the page, it forces the person to put in the passcode in order to see what the page is. So if somebody tries to um, go to it, they can't. They can't open it if they don't have a password. So this is one, that's an important app to have if you're gonna do free plus shipping. Um, another app that you should have, um, I forgot the apps. Another app that you should have is McAfee. McAfee Secure. It is free. They also have other plans if you would like to upgrade once you start making um, some revenue from your store. McAfee protects your store and it makes your, your store safe. It protects it um, from viruses, malicious activity, and it reminds your visitors that this is a secure website because I know we all know about the incident that happened at Target when Target got hacked. Even though Target is a brick and mortar store, people are a little bit more weary of giving their cards out to websites if they're not assured that their information is going to be secure. So this is important to show your visitors that your website is safe. And I do suggest that um, after you start making, you start generating a steady income that you do get the pro because it works a, it works a lot better and it has a lot more options to keep your website safe okay so we're gonna add some free ones now um, the next one we're gonna add is the Facebook product feed so you type in Facebook in the search bar. So this one is also free. And with this, you can automatically link your Facebook product catalog to your store. So if you add new products and you wanna create a specific Facebook ad, like a, a Facebook ad that shows off your products, all you have to do is, this is the ad you want, this is the app that you would want to use. So if you want to create really cool ads for your um, Shopify account, this is what you would use to create those really cool ads. So you can watch the videos on each one of the apps to get more information as to what it does. So we're going to add this. I'm going to click install app. And you're gonna hit format feed. This is important for the native Shopify pixel setting. And I'm gonna show you how to set up your Facebook pixel as well. And then you click save. So I'm gonna show you how to set up this and use this to um, connect to your Facebook in a later video. We're gonna keep adding more apps. Another app you're going to need to add is what's called the Facebook Messenger app.
and it looks like this Facebook chat. The Facebook chat, it basically puts a chat window on your store. So if a person has a question or they want to know something, it connects to your um, your Facebook fan page and they will be able to talk to you directly. So if a person has a question and they type in to the box, it automatically pops up over to your phone or to your computer or wherever you're on Facebook. So that, that that's really cool that you'll be able to connect with your customers almost instantly. So it's a really awesome app to have. So this is what it looks like. This is where you would put your Facebook fan page and you can change the color of the app. You can also change the button design as well. I can give you an example and show you what mine looks like on my store, on my other store, this store that I actually use. So this is my store that I created, the one that I actually create and use. And this is the app for the Facebook chat. And you also see here that I have my McAfee Secure. Yep. So this is where a person would be able to talk to me and send it right to me. So once you have put in your fan page, change the color to whatever you like, and change the button design if you desire, you would, you would click save and active. Once you click save and active, a box will pop up to say if you would like to view it. Um, and then you could view it live on your store. So we're gonna come out of there. We're gonna go back to the store, the Shopify app store. The next app we're gonna add is what's called Fishbowl. So Fishbowl is a really, really cool app if you want to do a giveaway. And it's a really cool marketing tool. So what it does is that you choose one of your items that you would like to give away for free. So you know those cool giveaways that, um, you know, if you put your email in here and sign up, you can get this for free. Click for free. Let's take that one. You can actually set that up for your own store. So this is how you do it. You write the prize name here. You write the dollar value. You write the dollar value here. It has to be a whole number. It cannot be a decimal number. So if your item costs uh, $49.99, round it up to $50. You put in the prize category, you add the picture, you do a short description of what the prize is. You put the website. You say how long you want for it to go on. You can make it go on for, um, I would suggest doing a month. You put your logo here, you put a company description here. You write in your eligibility. So um, offer only valid, uh, one per person, you know, stuff like that. You put the rules in here as well. And then you can choose which icon you would like to use, what color, what background color, the title of the text, and where you want it to be specifically on your page. I chose this one so that it doesn't block the view of the person while they're on the page. And then you can also choose the widget theme. You can preview it to see how it would look on your page. Or you can preview it how it would look. Um, well, no, you would preview it to see how it would look in general. And then you would preview it on your website to see how it would look on your page. Once you do that, you can have them promote it if you want. That's your totally your decision. You accept the terms and conditions. You can either save it if you want to come back to it later, or you can just create the giveaway right then and there. So this is a really cool thing to have. I can show you what one of mine looks like on my other store. So I created this um, a while ago. 
and this is it right here. So as you can see, I have over 330 entries and there's still 11 days left in my contest. So that's 330 emails of people who were like, yes, I want this. So, and then if they share it on Facebook and Twitter, they get more entries. So that gives them kind of an incentive and it's also free advertising for you. So this is actually something that's really cool. Okay, hit refresh so you can see all our apps. Well, most of all of our apps. So if you are a designer type of person, like I am, because I like to design t-shirts, um, these are two apps that you could use. You can test between the two because I personally like both of them. I have both of them, they're both free. They charge you per um, t-shirt that you have. But um, T Launch is basically where you would go to create your own T-shirts. So if you have, so if you're a Photoshop person and you like designing um, really cool designs on Photoshop or um, Illustrator, or you're just a really cool designer and you want to put quotes on your shirts, this is uh, where you would do that. They don't only have shirts; they have shirts, hoodies, uh, sweatshirts. They have. Um, mugs, they have blankets, they have shower curtains, they have a lot of really cool stuff. So we're gonna go here, we're gonna you click new product to see all the products that they have. It's actually a really cool app. I used to use the other app that I'm gonna show you. I still do. Um, they have some cool stuff as well. So they have blankets, they have cups mugs, you know, home goods, you know, cutting boards, dog bowls, mat, um, mouse pads, yoga mats, pillows. So you can put your designs literally anywhere. On iPhones, Samsungs, so literally anywhere. And you, at the bottom here, this is how much they charge you per item. So if it's $11 originally, and then they also charge you for shipping. It's usually about $4. So in total, the product itself is $15. As we all know, a lot of uh, mainstream you know, products, whether for t-shirts exactly, they it's the same price depending on what shirt. So I do women's shirts. So normally it's $10 plus shipping is about, plus domestic shipping is $4. So in total the shirt costs $14. And as we know, custom made shirts are really cool shirts. They don't really cost that much. They cost around $25 to $30 per shirt. I personally charge um, $24.99 for my shirts. So I make, um, for every shirt that gets bought, I make about $10 on every shirt. So that's actually really cool. Same thing for like hoodies and long sleeve shirts. I charge about $50 for my hoodies because it's a thicker material and it's a hoodie. Most hoodies usually cost. <clears throat> hoodies usually cost more than t-shirts. So yeah, you can put your design on any one of these shirts. So yeah, that's actually really cool. So we're gonna close that. We're gonna go back to the app store. And this is going to be the last app that we're going to add, and it's called Get Response. So this is an app for um, this is Get Response is my autoresponder, and you, it's a paid app, so you have to pay five dollars a month for it. But um, Get Response is my personal autoresponder, and this is where if a person puts their email in on your page, then they automatically go to your autoresponder. Shopify works closely with MailChimp, but MailChimp doesn't like me, so I don't use MailChimp. I use GetResponse to send my emails to my customers who give me their emails. So yeah, this is where they it's better marketing. They have a really good strategy for autoresponders, and it's actually a lot easier to use than MailChimp is. 
so yeah, that's that's all we do. Okay, so you click get and it adds it to your store. So those are all of the apps that you add to your store. Oh, I almost forgot. So the other app for t-shirts is called Printful. They have um, items that the tea launch does not have. So with Printful, you can print on the same t-shirts, hoodies, sweatshirts as well. They also have crop tops, leggings, and some other items as well. So if you want to print on um, those items as well, you can. So I would suggest you have both apps. So I already have a, a Printful account. So all you would do is hit create new and you create a whole new Printful account. So it connects to your store, and this is kind of what it looks like. So when you click add product, it gives you an overview of everything it has. So yeah, like I said, they have t-shirts, mugs, they got socks, pillows, they got bags, leggings, phone cases, and you can even do wall art. So there's lots of cool things that you can make yourself if you are that designer, creative type of person, but you don't want to have large stocks in your home. So once a person buys something from either Printful or Teen Launch, all you have to do is fulfill the order. And the customer and Teen Launch and Printful, they kind of work together after that. After the order is fulfilled, you never touch the t-shirt. It goes, the order goes right to Printful or right to Teen Launch or right to whoever, um, whoever is the store owner in o Oberlo on AliExpress and they fulfill the order they send the product straight to the customer so yeah this is actually a really 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 cool if you want to make some extra money or if you want this to be your one of your incomes so yeah this is actually really cool especially the fact that you never have to touch any products i think that's the best thing so those are all of the apps that you need to add in order to start your Shopify store. So you are totally done with the first part. That's awesome. So the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna click online store. This is where you get to customize your theme. 